All right, everybody, I'm back here with a little update. So we are at uh, spring training now, and uh, I got handled a little business. Uh, we got a few guys eligible for contract extensions, but right now I really only want to look at Nick Sandlin after his heroic efforts in the uh, postseason. I um, I decided I was going to extend him at some point. And uh, he's 28. He's got like one more year of team control. We're going to go ahead and do, uh, we can do like three years. Uh, five million a year, maybe. See if he'll accept. Oh, wow. He'll accept a lot less. Okay. Uh, let's see. 4.2. Okay. We're getting there. Let's offer him 4.5 and get be done with it. There we go. Three years, 4.5 a year. We got Nick Sandlin signed up. He's going to be our closer for the foreseeable future. Uh, okay. What else do we have to talk about here? We got, uh, new top prospects. Last year, we had one prospect in the top prospect list, and that was um, A.J. smith Shaver, who moved down to 19. He was uh, hovering around 12, 13 most of last year. He's 22 now. He, he's going to be pitching in the majors this year at some point. I just don't know when that'll be yet. We'll get back to that in a second. And Shelby Norton, who's making his debut on the top prospect list, this guy is uh, someone we drafted last year out of high school. He's going to be our closer of the future. This man, uh, he's going to be a beast. I've showed him uh, before. He's got a problem with the walks, but he's only 18. Uh, he's uh, already like, uh, really good in terms of strikeouts per nine, and that's going to go way up. He'll probably be a 99 by the end of his career with that A potential. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, Smith Shaw at 19. Uh, we're going to have a little competition in uh, spring training to see who our DH is going to be. It's going to be either Jock Peterson or uh, Travis Darno, probably. And, or Trey Mancini's in the competition, too. Uh, we brought him in uh, along with Tony Kemp. But Kemp's probably going to come off the bench. He's going to be like a uh, guy that can play all the offensive, uh, offensive, all the outfield positions as well as second base. So he's got versatility. Um, we got uh, Jack Flaherty. He has one more year of team control, $8.8 .8 million. He's going to be our five to begin the year. But if he struggles at all, we have A.J. smith Shaver ready to go. We have Jared Schuster. We have Kobe Allard. And we have Bryce Elder, who probably has the upper hand right now since he's the oldest. And he's got the highest overall. And he pitched uh, some. Um, he pitched great in the uh, postseason. I brought him in to do a little mop-up duty. And a little, um, you know, the classic uh, three-inning save. He, uh, he handled it great. Um, and one more thing. Uh, we got uh, our prospects actually show up in the um, on the roster now. The guys we drafted last year, uh, like Rose and um, yeah, William Rose. This guy's going to be our our uh, future uh, starter for us. Uh, I've already shown Norton. Uh, there was I think there was another starting pitcher uh, that we drafted last year. Uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm uh, mistaken. There might have been a reliever. Anyways, uh, I don't want to. Um, get caught up on that uh but yeah that's pretty much it all i want to show that's what's going on with the team right now um yeah that's our lineup this is our rotation so we're still incredibly deep it's gonna be a good year uh, i think we've got a great chance to repeat as champs so yeah um just stay tuned uh leave any feedback below i'll reply to it uh and uh have a good rest of your day